Today is the Flock Together Research Day in Pokemon Go, and this one is a simple research day, similar to what we had with the Electrotype Research Day a month or two ago, where I was chasing Joltik. This one, we have flying types rather than electric types, and there's a whole host of well, flying type Pokemon in the wild as well. So the featured Pokemon for this event are Spiro, Doduo, Hoot Hoot, Taillow and Rufflet. And to be fair, most of those I don't really need. They're the ones that are coming from the field research task. I suppose realistically, Doduo is the one that I'm going to be chasing. But in the wild, we can encounter Pidgey, Murkrow, Wingle, Starly, Pidov, and Fletchling. And from that list, if I can find a few, Pidgey is the one that I would like to get the shiny off because that is the one that genuinely I would actually love a community day for. And they left it out of this one for the field research, which makes me wonder, is that a possibility? It's one of the first nice weekends we've actually had this year. And we've already got a couple of tasks here to do. So we'll get these done as quickly as possible. And we'll do our first few encounters. All right, here goes, first three checks. And these can be, well, there can be anything. Ooh, that one isn't shiny. And second check, what are we gonna get? Spiro, not shiny. And the final check is Spiro. That one isn't shiny, but that doesn't really surprise us. But there's plenty more researchers to do. And uh, hopefully we're gonna get something half decent. Now, as with all events in Pokemon Go at the moment, there is some timed research for this one. And the Flock Together Research Day, I I think that was just complete a research task. So we've got um, five encounters there. Let's go through these, see if we can't get something sparkly. Spiro, no. Second encounter gives us Ruffler. Of course, that one again, all of these can be shiny. That one isn't. But of course, we're not looking for shiny Ruffler. We actually have got the family of that with spares, actually, due to um, GoFests, etc., and hatches. So Ruffler is not shiny. Let us now go to encounter number three, which is the Hoot Hoot. Wouldn't object to another one of those being shiny. Encounter four is Doduo. That's the little green boy that I would like. Now this timed research is courtesy of a 99 cent ticket. Just want to thank Craig Maycroft for sending this one to me. Very much appreciated. Uh, thanking you didn't bring the shiny tail though, but uh, as I say, still early days and we've got page two yet where we have to pick a path. So let's complete page one of this research. 1,000 dust, 2,500 XP, and Professor Willow giving us a choice. Do we want to go Do Duo, Taillow, Spiro, Hoot Hoot, or Rufflet? It's down to either Hoot Hoot or Do Duo, but I think Do Duo has to be the one. So we'll follow that path, go back into the research, and we need to complete. 10 for your research tasks, which will give us 10, 11 in fact, encounters with our Doduo. So we've got three more checks here for something with sparkles, rufflet, not shiny. Wouldn't object to another rufflet, even though I don't need it. Great shiny, I love that little brown bird. Second check gives us Taillow, not shiny. And the final check for this second group of mons, another Taillow. I think that's probably gonna be the predominantly uh, common one this event, and uh, not shiny. That one and Spiro, I think, are probably gonna be ones I see the most. So we have three more tasks to check. Something shiny's gotta happen sooner or later. Hoot Hoot, no. Next up, Rufflet, no. And last but definitely not least on this set is Hoot Hoot. Three more research done, three more chances. Are we gonna see some sparkles at some point? So far, it's been a very sparkleless event. We're an hour in, and the research tasks, well, they're not difficult. They're actually really not difficult at all. Check number two, shiny Spiro, first set of sparkles. And how did I know it would be either that or Taylor? It was bound to be one of the two, wasn't it? There we go. Okay, it's three star. You know what, we'll take it. We've got one more check to do. Are we gonna see something? No, that's, that's the other one. Half I expected that one to be shiny. So we've got three more checks and uh, are we gonna get anything shiny? Nothing there. 
Check number two, no. And the third check from this group of research. Hoo hoo, not shiny. All right, so I just helped some kids smash a shadow Suicune. And we got this bad boy, the shiny first raid for that so i will definitely take that we're just going to go pine that we know we're going to catch it it doesn't even matter how good this throw is but we're going to try and go for the excellent and we get it shiny suicune or say shiny shadow suicune And there we have it, as you'll have seen in the B-roll there, the shiny Dodo. This is one of the ones that I was wanting today, which is typical since I've now taken that route on the research. But hey ho, not complaining. Shiny Dodo. Wouldn't say they're coming thick and fast. It's three star. You know what? We'll take that. We have three more tasks to check. Oh, we're going to see another shiny. That one would be nice. We've got the Dodo. We've got the Spearow. We've got the Tailo. Shiny Ruffler would be nice. I'm not holding my breath. Shiny Hoot Hoot would be nice now. You know, just complete the set for the event. But you know what? You can't have everything. We'll see what we get. Still time. Hoot Hoot, not shiny. And one more to check. It's another Taylo. All right, let's do this. We have got the 11 checks from the Flock Together Research Day. Once again, thank you very much, Craig Maycroft, for sending you the ticket to me. 11 chances for that's the one I need. I need the shiny male doe duo now. Check number two. Oh, another shiny doe duo. It's the female though. It's the male variant I need. I need that black neck. Hey ho, we'll take it. Check number three is. Let's go with check number four. Number five, halfway there, not shiny. Check number six. Seven. Number eight, nine. Check number 10. Well, this last encounter, bring me what I'm looking for. It won't, but we got a shiny in there. We've also got another doe deal. The day's not over, there's still a little bit of time left, so there is still time to get uh, another shiny. But you know what? I cannot complain with what I've got. We've done pretty well today, in my opinion, for taking this chilled. So the Flock Together Research Day is done, and there was nothing I really needed from this one, so I've got to admit, I kind of got a little bit bored. Don't get me wrong, it's great getting shinies, and looking at what we've got today, six shinies, I'll take that. Two Talos, three Doe Duos, granted, all female, and a Spearow. A Hoot Hoot would have been nice, but the chase for me was the Doe Duo. I got the female, which I needed. I also need one of the male ones, so that might be a lucky trade with somebody at some point in the future. But all in all, for somebody that actually needed these mons, these research days are absolutely brilliant, and that is the, my main takeaway. Although I didn't need anything from it, the chase wasn't there as much as it was with the electric research day a few months ago, but I do see that these are of a benefit to newer players that maybe don't have these mons. And oh, I've just gone lucky friends with Herm's Ninja, Sue. I'll see you in Madrid. We'll get that lucky trade done. So I'll take what I got today. I'm not disappointed. And once again, thank you, Craig, for sending the ticket to me. But all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching. If you are a subscriber to this channel, then thank you so very much. If you are not, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is free, it will not cost you a penny, and it really does help this channel to grow. Equally, if you support this channel through Patreon, then that does mean the world to me. It allows me to do just a little bit more with the channel than I otherwise would be able to do. I'll see you next week for Bound Sweet Community Day. All being well, I'll be playing that one down in Ealing with the other hosts of the Incense Podcast, Pogo Miley UK and Masterful 27. And hey, if you haven't checked it out already, please check out Incense Podcast. It is available on all podcast platforms. We talk primarily about Pokemon Go and uh, it, it's a good time. But that's going to do it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one. If you fancy watching another video, click just over here to see what YouTube is recommending and I'll catch you next Sunday for Bounce Week Community Day. Thanks for watching. Waterfall out.